if you've been curious about the red light therapy and you're wondering which ones are actually worth the bang, stick around. As a master medical esthetician, I test out all the products before I bring them forward to you wonderful people so you can make an informed decision. Also, not every single red light therapy is actually a good bang for your buck. So I'm going to feature three of my absolute favorites uh, that will be in other videos. But today I'm going to be explaining why you might really want to consider red light therapy and which ones are awesome and which ones are, as another creator would say, a la poubelle. So first, the most important burning question out there, does red light therapy work? I think there's enough evidence to support that yes, it does work. I can also say from my own personal experience, when I do put these into my skincare routine and when I take them out, my skin does revert back to its old self, if you will. And personally speaking, I like it when I keep them in my routine. The long and the short of it is the red light therapy actually stimulates your own mitochondria to help stimulate your skin to rejuvenate better and faster. This is important because as we age, everything slows down and the quality of the cells that are developed aren't nearly as good as they used to be. A natural healthy cycle of a cell for your skin to rejuvenate is anywhere between 28 to 31 days. And as we age, my friends, it slows right down. This is why your wrinkles get worse. This is why hyperpigmentation seems to take forever to come out through your skin. There's a lot of issues and that's why the beauty industry is trying to find ways to help stimulate that. And red light therapy, in my humble opinion, definitely. So for the red light therapy to actually penetrate deep enough into the skin to evoke some change, you need to make sure that first of all, there's enough lights that are available and that it actually is long enough. The wavelength is long enough. You want to make sure that your red light therapy has a nanometer reading somewhere between 630 and up for really good penetration. Red light therapy works best when it is directly on the skin. However, these panels are a little bit stronger. This one typically goes to 660 nanometers, so you'll definitely get that penetration. And it also has some other features in here, which I will explain in another video. But these are effective as well. Again, you want to sit nice and close to it. Handheld devices, unfortunately, are not sitting on your skin long enough in one area for it to actually invoke any change. So for me, those are definitely a la poubelle in the garbage. Look, these things are not cheap. They're going to cost you somewhere around $500. So you need to make sure that this is something that you really want and you will incorporate into your skincare routine because this needs to be used five days a week. So if you are interested, I will go through my top three, just like and follow. I'll be sharing it the next couple days. And I'll also be sharing some of the extra features that you may or may not need. So then that way you're making an informed decision on which device would be best for you and what your needs are. I hope this helped. I'll see you on the next one.